Okay, so far it's working. Uh, I just got another solar panel in, much bigger. And as you can tell, this is the pump. Comes up. Uh, yeah, it comes up. Comes up through here, runs through over here. There's the pipe. Yep, it fills in. As you can see, there's a big pipe down here that points down. It's open down there. Although it's got a cap, I put drilled holes into it to, as like a, so it doesn't suck up the small fish or anything. Uh, it's gonna suck up a lot of that algae because I just pushed it towards it. It's gonna suck it up because the pressure from up here is gonna push down because it's trying to go out this hole here. And uh, look, there's a fish. Oh, and. Notice this water here rushing a lot. It's rushing out. I'm going to explain that here in a minute. But anyways, so the pressure is going to push down because it's trying to get out the easiest exit, which is this outlet right here. So everything from the bottom should get sucked up into it. All right. Yeah, he's not dead yet. I think I think we're going to lose him here soon. And then, the stuff's coming in here. See, you can already tell it's swirling around. It's already picked up a lot of the uh, algae at the bottom here. So, maybe tomorrow I'll open up this valve here and uh, get rid of a lot of that algae. And I think you can tell. It's swirling around already. You can see little bits of algae. And as it gets heavier, it falls to the bottom. That's the idea. And then clean water comes into here because everything is already settled. Most of the thick stuff is already down at the bottom and inside here is the clean water, hopefully. I may put sorry, battery just died. Alright. So I may put an additional uh, mechanical filter in here to get rid of you, know, you can see a little bit of few small things getting in there. Anyway, it travels down this pipe here, it comes out, capped it off at the end. My hope is, is with this kind of design, I can keep just adding and adding and adding if I need to. Anyways, it fills up. And this is still draining. Here, I'll just close this one here. Anyways, what happens is, is this, these beds fill up. And uh, as it fills up, the plants, their nutrients and water and everything, even though this pineapple plant doesn't look good. If I keep going down a little bit further here. Yeah, I'm already running into what used to be wet, wet rock. So it fills up and it drains back down. I'll give it a minute here. I'm letting air capture into this so I can lift it up out of here. I'll pause the video for the meantime. Alright, so I'm really stoked because it's really sunny right now. Anyways, if you can look in there, there's a standpipe. Alright, and basically the water is going to come. Oh, here we go. The water will enter through these bottom holes here, right? Because water will fill from the bottom first. You know, there we go. So the water level will rise, right? And as it rises, it'll come up across these gaps here evenly, which will then create a hole, right? Or a gap of air. As the gap of air rises, it will slowly escape down this pipe here. However, there'll be a point when the water 
will create a pocket of air and thus it will create a siphon effect and everything will get drained out and what will happen is, is it goes up the pipe up along the outside of the pipe goes down the outside of the pipe and because it's creating a siphon all the water from I guess I guess this this is the wet line all the water from here on down will get drained out but once it breaks this part here a gap of air will come in and break the siphon this is why it's called an auto siphon and it's preferred because I can just keep my pump running 24 hours a day given the sun would actually work with thanks trouble thank you thank you okay so I'm gonna open that up if you notice this one back over here was working pumping a lot and it slowed down a little bit it's still draining after a minute it's gonna end up like these guys where it's draining very little if any and that's that's the deal so the nutrient plants will take the nutrients out falls into here this pump will then pump it back up into the fish tank and cycles through I hope this explains a lot bye